We begin with a developing story tonight. Prosecutors have dropped a criminal charge against a Fort Wayne pain doctor accused of overprescribing medication. Good evening. I'm Heather Heron. And I'm Brett Thomas. According to Dr. Michael Cozy's attorney, the charge of possession of a narcotic has been dismissed. However, the 90-day suspension, uh, suspension of his medical license now stands. Cozy was arrested a week ago today after federal agents raided two of his homes and properties. Dr. Cozy's office has reopened temporarily so that patients can get their medical records, but those files may not be available for everyone. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson joins us live in the newsroom with more on this. Angelica. Well, roughly 1,700 people will be making their way to Dr. Cozy's office over the next couple of days to get those records. But today we've learned about 600 patients could be leaving the office empty-handed. I talked with one person who says his file was one of hundreds that are missing from the office. With only a three-day window to retrieve their medical records, an influx of Dr. Michael Cozy's patients made their way to his office today. John Brown was one of them. But when he got to the office, he learned getting that file might not be so simple. They said that there wasn't, my file wasn't there. He was told by a nurse that they were missing anywhere from 500 to 600 files. Uh, I was kind of dumbfounded because I didn't... I need those files so I can get to another doctor. When Brown asked where the files were, he says the nurse couldn't say. Today we've learned that they could be a part of the DEA's investigation. And according to the Allen County Health Commissioner, a physician has to request those files. The DEA will only release those medical records that they have, and I understand there are about six to 700 of them, they will only release those to a physician. That could mean it would take a little bit longer to get a hold of those records. And for Brown, that time is valuable. I'm getting a little nervous because I have a pain pump that's supposed to be filled on the Thursday, and my meds are all up. Brown says he'll just manage the pain as best he can in the meantime. Well, I guess I just deal with the pain as long as I can, and going from there. Patients have until Thursday to get their medical records from Dr. Cozy's office. They can visit between 8 and 4. Reporting live in the newsroom, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.